Yo, dog. Sound check, guys. How do I sound? Relative to the music. I'm trying to get my sound sensitivity a little bit less sensitive. Let me know. Vagrant Wolf Sowry What's up players? Everybody who's early to the stream gets to picks up those extra ten yo dogs. Get that shit started. Just hosted me. Saudi, it's my boy right there. If it wasn't for Saudi's final push, the Debticon this year. Might not be streaming right now. <clears throat> Give that man some Smirnoff ice. <laughs> Orgasmic just here for the yo dogs. Sent for game. Sent for game 69 checking in. Killing time, Peyton. Yeah, I'll talk about it a little bit. If people want to know, if we get enough people asking. I'm going to talk about it on the podcast tomorrow, so it's not like it's not going to get said. Giving myself some um, time to decompress so I can come at it with the most uh, objective opinion possible. Because if I was, was going to go off on it yesterday, it would be a different opinion than today. seen the viewer count? Look, I'm not seeing shit. Look, it's taking forever to load up. Dathar. Finally, you're here. Just getting the final checklist through. Making sure the yo dogs are getting tracked. Making sure the Twitch alerts are engaged. Making sure the gifts are looking fresh. Making sure the sound levels are fresh. A lot goes into this. Like I said, it wasn't for Kyle Saudi, aka Baker Wolf, giving me the final push. Who knows how long it would have taken me to get into Twitch? Oh, you know what I don't have up though? Final checklist. Seems like I forgot to pull my tablet out so I can see the Q and A. See if my battery's dead. Nope, not dead yet. It's not gone into paperweight mode. Does anybody see how many viewers we have right now? Man, my shit is like... I think today's a bad Twitch day. Alright. We got the old ancient Chinese tablet. 
engaged so I can sort of see the Q&A while I'm painting. You guys see it? Why the fuck don't I see it? Look, I'm going to refresh the page. I might lose some of this chat, but now I got it up on the tablet so I can see it. Sure enough, there it is. Yeah, now I can see the total current viewers. That's a good number, man, to start the show with. Hive mind, thanks, Blake. Thanks, player man. Like we're just doing what we can, brother. All day or day. He sent a quick whisper to my boy Slow Fuse. Let him know that we are live. We are live in two minutes. And of course, I got my video queued up for you guys. We got everything, bro. We got class. will be in session. You guys are picking up your yo dogs. <clears throat> everyone, everyone first to the party picks up more yo dogs than everybody else. Cheesy poofs. Kyrell Trevin. What's up, man? Rhinoxerus. What's up, player? Got some old schoolers. Got some new schoolers up in the stream tonight. Of course. Iron headed, greatest mod of all time. Dumma. Anything you can recommend for my stuff? Your stuff looks great, man. 99% of what I teach is repetition, you know, to, to, to gain excellence. So it's like, it's it's really easy for someone to critique somebody else's model. But if like your colors look good, your washes look clean, your edges look solid, like that's sick. Like you're just gonna get better at it as you, you know, do the techniques over and over again. It's really easy to be like, oh, you could have washed that or you could have highlighted this better. It's like, dog, you're doing the techniques. Now you just gotta keep doing them and re recreating the same thing over and over again. You know, getting that consistency. And before you know it, you're gonna be so fast at it. You, you know. So it's gonna be so easy for you. You're just gonna be banging it out, and then it'll challenge you. Once you feel like you mastered something, it'll challenge you to just keep pushing the pace. Oh, Saudok, you got them raging heroes. Mm. Saudok, the first person to redeem the Yo Dogs to get the super swag crate. Yeah, tell me your shit's like way good, man. Don't even. All right, guys. <clears throat> Let's talk. Mm. Oh, I didn't see you there. Yo, dog. Kenny Boucher here, next level painting, hitting you up on the literal best day of the week. Figuratively speaking, of course, because everyone knows that's actually Friday. Of course, is next level painting. We're in the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California. We've got another tutorial for you guys live. It is absolutely squanching time. Ty winning. Ugh, yo, dog. He knows. Rick and Morty season three cannot come sooner. Hydra ascended. Thanks for the follow, player. Today, obviously, we're gonna be working on the orcs, homie. 2017 is gonna be a big year for the orcs, and we got to do some shit here in the stream. But I'm going to warn you guys right now. Um, we might be flipping the, the, the scene here soon uh, in the upcoming weeks and working on some nids from my boy Stoner Steve. I think we got some Damascherons in queue. So I want to kind of start sli sliding those in, give them some of the products. Maybe like a monthly, like get them one Damascheron, maybe one model here. So I'm going to sneak them into the stream. So I'm going to have some big boys here on the stream soon. But of course, we've got Alarial. I think that's her name from the tree peoples, the tree persons. We got the beetle lady. We got a whole bunch of shit, man, coming up on the queue. So these orcs, they might, we might have to do them in the background and show you our progress on them. The Watang clan is not anything to fuck with. Let me do 
do a quick roll call. Hive mind. Check it in. What's up, player? Dumma. Of course. We got some old schoolers and some new schoolers. We got Sidebound. We got I want to say Chris. Uh oh. And his name uh -oh. is John C. Uh oh. Dathar777. You cannot see me, brother. Thank you for the subscription, homie. We got Chris checking in. What's up, player man? I don't think I've seen you in a while. Sidebound, Rhinoxorus, Killing Tom Payton, Darth Rob, Agent Arrow, Sal Doc, the first redemption of the Super Swag Crate. We got everyone in the house. British Pete, Joss Osborne, Ty Winnin, the truest squancher of all time. He always keeps you swifty. Where's Phobos? True OG. Grazer, of course, you can't forget Grazer. We got Because Paints, man. What's up, brother? I don't know if I've seen you on the stream before, but thanks for stopping by. Nick P1, of course. Desert Wolf, what's up, man? Um, yo, Leon, uh, Leon Lopez, man. Psh, one of the old schoolers. Impulse, can't go anywhere without Impulse. Orgasmic, he's just here for the Yo Dogs. He don't give a fuck about none of this shit. Uh, Joe Darkblade. Demonicon, what's up, man? Yo, it's going to be a good show, guys. We're going to do some work tonight, man. We're going to get some shit done. We got the Lord Cypher checking in. Oh, Chris, you read the Hammer Wrath? Look, man, here's the situation. A lot of people were at Hammer Wrath hitting me up on Facebook. It was like, hey, it was great to see you this week. I'm like, who the fuck are you? Why didn't you just come up to me? Real names, Twitch handles. I imagine your name is really Chris. Paint me the picture with your words of who you were and what our interaction was like so I can remember. I say I'm a million percent. That is better than a hundred percent. A million percent? A million percent! Oh yeah! Sal Doc, of course, the great Sal Doc. We subbing. Thanks, brother. You are one million percent. GIF volume looking a little too high. Okay, I will turn that down. Thank you for working that out for me, guys. And that was on the subs, right? The subs were looking super loud. Okay, I got it. God, they are. They're all boosted back up. I, I turn them on every week, and they're all back up to like 80%. What the fuck? Goddamn Twitch alerts. Got it, got it. Let me check donations while we're at it to see if donations didn't go back to beast mode. Nope, donations are still looking the same. They're good. We're good. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks for the heads up, brothers. I'll try to fix things fix things on the fly. Ty winning, that's great to hear, my man. Okay, guys. Star Sunders, what's up, player? Yo, man. It is Taco Tuesday celebration in effect, John Bingham. All right, guys, so here's the situation. Anyone new to the stream? Welcome. Anyone not new to the stream? Welcome back. Oh, Slow Fuse Gaming with the sick host. Anyone who doesn't know who Slow Fuse Gaming is, he is the man, by the way. Got the gift volume down. Tell me if the gift volume continues to be a problem. I'll keep turning it down throughout the stream. Uh, so if he's gaming in the house, bringing some people over. Throw these guys some hype. Throw these guys some ICs. Uh, throw these guys some yo dogs, man. Let these guys know that they're welcome on the stream. Slow Fuse Gaming, an honorary member of the Wu-Tang Clan. He is also the greatest airbrusher Excellent. alive. Excellent! And X303, thanks for the follow. Also, Code Jaxel, thanks for the follow. You're the man, Slow Fuse. He is fucking tough. He's the hardest painter alive. Hype, hype, hype. All right, guys. So as I said, welcome to the stream if it's your first time. Welcome back if it's not your first time. Everyone on the stream right now is currently earning digital currency in the form of Yo Dogs. Get one per one minute. 
You also get some if you follow me on uh, Instagram, Twitters, and YouTubes, all that shit. All the rules for the contest are down below. Real easy to understand. The point of the Yodogs, though, is you can redeem them at the... You have the whole month to collect Yodogs and redeem them for a gift bag or an epic loot crate valued at $100 MSRP. Additionally, you can buy raffle tickets to earn... Excellent! ...to, to win a one-on-one -on -one painting class with me. We'll be doing that every month. The whole contest resets at the beginning of the month. So definitely take a look at the rules down here in the panels below. Start earning them Yodogs. Let's do some shit together. Real quick shout-out. Xarian, thanks for the follow. Xarian, um... Everybody who's on the stream right now, we're about to start the video. The the video that we've been becoming known for. I'll come back into the Q&A right afterwards, but for now, let's see what I did this week. Um, in all those minutes, we weren't talking to each other, you know what I mean? All right, here we go, guys. Today's movie. Mm. It's, about to, it's about to get swifty. Retro. Retro. All right, guys. Here's the gob face killer. The orc war boss with the lucky stick that was converted by my best friend in the world, Brian Mole. So what we're doing here is we're just going to bang out some of these details so you don't just you know watch me on stream paying all these super easy details. We're using chrome because orcs are, sh are eternal chrome, shiny chrome for life. Dan, thanks for the sub, homie. Trogdor. Thanks for the sub, my man. So back to the video at hand. Um, Godface Killer, doing all the base details, using some Vallejo model um, air, using chrome. Like I said, we're going only with the chrome on the big areas. We got in our head that, like we said, Valhalla, Eternal Shiny and Chrome. Uh, we're not gonna paint their teeth chrome. I thought about it. Um, that's a that's we'll let Whitehead uh, White Metal Game Studios do that. So we're just going through banging out all the basic details. And part of the next level painting process is we block in all the details in nice, solid, even colors. We don't really do any of the build up in the first stage, with some exceptions. This is kind of the marriage quantity and quality. This is the technique. Um, the ancient Chinese uh, system is all technique, and anyone can learn to paint the way I paint on this stream. It is not a skill, it is all technique. The skill is in knowledge. So we're going through just finding everything like you know that we want to be metal. Like I said previously when we appreciated this guy and hit him red. Excellent. Oh, cheesy honey. Thanks for the follow. Like I said, we painted as much of this guy red as possible because I just didn't know what was going to be red until we started doing the details. So I am now I have the option now to leave anything red I want and also detail anything I want and, to, and know that the airbrush red is still going to be preserved. So now I'm just taking my time figuring out these details. What do I want to be painted? What do I want them to be contrast with? You know, now we're going through painting every nut and bolt because my boy Brian did such a phenomenal job with the plastic card and the putty. I mean, like 90% of these add-ons, he, he just made them. He was like, fuck all this shit. I'm going to make new shit, you know? He's so crazy. I sent him three orc bikers with all the knob bits. And I said, go crazy. I want a lucky stick. They all have power claws. This is what's up. And he said, fuck all these bits. And he made this power fist. He made this backpack. He made all these servos. He made that shoulder pad, all the teeth. He made the iron gob. All that shit is plastic card and green stuff. So we're going through painting these really, and all the nuts and bolts are green stuff, you know? So we went through and we just painted them all. And now I'm just going to, you know, say, hey, you know what? Red and black look really powerful together. So some of the basic um, accessories are going to be black. Give us that super strong contrast with the rest of the army. You know, we'll, we'll be leaning on more than just black as we move forward. But, you know... Black is a real good, real good contrast. Like sometimes when I don't know what color I want to paint, when I'm like, oh, what color should this be? Sometimes just go with black, bro. Like black highlighted up with a little bit of gray, it's gonna look a lot better, you know, than you because black pretty much is gonna generate contrast with almost any bright color. This orc's gonna be pretty bright. Same thing. I find that painting these hoses and these coils black is gonna give you a lot better uh, contrast. When I was in my youth, I used to paint almost everything I could metal because metal was just easy with some washes and some dry brushes. Hey, you know what? We pulled that GW brush back out. Turns out it's pretty good at, at, at 
putting down some uh, black and some, some chrome. Also, anything with black in it, I noticed, it worked well with. Also, now that I know how to use a light touch, I gave it another chance and found it to be okay here. So we're gonna actually going to paint the teeth, these dags on his shoulder pad, all these converted teeth that uh, my boy Brian threw on here. So what we did was just add a little bit of white to some black. We actually use an Abaddon black and some Privateer Merrill white. Mix it up, make a gray. Lay down the base work, and we're just going to wet blend it back to a white. I use a lot of wet blend technique when I'm uh, when I'm doing when I'm doing anything like this. I'm not a good layer painter. Like I don't have the patience for like painting a coat, letting it dry, suddenly add the brighter color to it, let it dry. I like yo, literally, I like to go fast. You know what I'm saying? Also, you get it's gonna give you a little bit more of an organic, um, just kind of beat up look when you do this technique here, um, and it's really gonna sell it for the orcs. You know what I mean? Like this white is gonna be a little bit more gangster a little bit less pure and I think that's perfect so you can see here I'm doing all this nothing I'm not letting anything dry I'm just adding more white to the palette with more water as I go you know and then just controlling the white you know with a little bit more precision as we approach the final highlights you know now what I like to do is I like to cut the edges in with white and then wet blend them back in because it's kind of framing it out for me like I don't really have a I'm not a man with a plan like I just kind of like, you know, freestyle some some blends sometimes. I don't really think it out. Uh, planning, I only plan things with airbrush, really. I like to kind of just let the model, all I ever do is learn how to paint the model I'm painting, you know? So there, it, you know, so you can see that the, that the blends are coming out real good. That GW brush is um, getting nice and curled and frayed on the edge, just like a solid brush should have, right? I mean, that's how brushes look, right? Like, you want your brushes to just be shitty on the tips, I assume. Um... <laughs> But I'm about at the limit of what that brush can do. Um, so since I have this mix in my hand, I'm going to go through and paint the teeth on his gob, leaving the major piece of his gob red. I really want that gob to be red, but you need contrast. You need those teeth to be painted white. Looking good, looking good. Saudok. Excellent! 30K Yay! coming in the mail, brother. No doubt. Thanks for the follow, my man. Let me make sure people get recognized. Uh... I want to say decryptic vision. Thanks for the follow. Um, you know, now we're using our detail brush and we are building up that white a little bit with a little bit more precision. Now I'm going to go back and paint the nuts. I thought about leaving these nuts white and highlighted, but it wasn't enough contrast. So I'm going to paint them all black and then I'll come back in with metal and I'll, and I'll paint them with metal. I, but when you're doing something over white like this, Chrome is not the key. Chrome will not, there will be no contrast. So I mixed the chrome a little bit with black metal. These are all Vallejo colors. And I'm going to just kind of blend the metal into the black and leave as much of that black intact as possible so that there is, it is a metal nut, but it is a lot darker and there's a lot more contrast there. Now that I have this uh, black metal on my, on my palette, I decided that this little shoulder pad that was part of the original knob model here is going to be metal, but real dark metal so that there is an absolute contrast. Checking the Q&A over on my tablet. Seeing what you guys are talking about. British Pete, start of videos, man. I gotta use, uh, thanks for recognizing the start of you. I gotta use all my skills, and since I'm a YouTube guy, I'm really fast at like slapping videos together like this, so I decided to meld the two together. Now we're gonna like just sneak in there and, and use a little bit of uh, privateer um, Met off white highlight. And we're just going to bang these teeth out real, real. Got to pay real attention here, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you don't want to undo any of that airbrushing. Diesel 77, thanks for the follow, my brother. You know, basically just do the best you can. Don't get that shit all over the place. Now we're going to pull out, like, I think it's terracotta is the color of this brown. It's a game color, Vallejo. And we're just going to bang it down on his pants and his t-shirt. Um, I thought about keeping them black, but it's, it's just not enough color. Uh, to do all those things black. So I did that real fast. Um, now we're adding a little bit more uh, highlights to his skin. These are like more exaggerated. I wanted his tricep to be popping. So I just kind of, you know, artificially created the shade, shadow there under his, under his tricep where his elbow pops out. And I'm just creating real exaggerated highlights because we're going to use a wash um, to darken his flesh and come back in and paint by numbers the highlights back in. But Michal, some of the Michal says on his channel, it's it's always worth 
highlighting it before you wash it. You get a little bit more out of it. So this guy is pretty pretty good to go for the wash phase. Uh, we're going to come in and do that today. But also, I had time to do the bike too, guys. So don't get it twisted. We're going to do more than just this guy. So we pull out the bike. We painted literally every piece of metal on this bike. Chrome. And now we're going to come back in and reestablish some of the blacks where the over where we got a little bit of paint splatter. Um, and also, it's usually worth painting a true black over the primer, even though Vallejo Service Primer Black is really truly black. Um, if it's something that's going to be black, yo, literally just go back in there and paint it black. Like I said, I like to paint the, the pipes and the tubes black. I feel like it has a better look. I do have all the paints come through, bang it out, you know, any little detail you can. And see, you notice that the DACA cannons, you can see the pins there on the side where they used to, where they, where they normally would go. Brian had the forethought to pin those in so I can pop them off and we can give them their own special airbrush treatment. That probably means we're going to be committed to airbrushing, maybe some heat scoring in on them. I'll let you guys decide if we have time for that today or not. But we can do a later video on it. If not, banging it out, cutting in the details. Paint that seat. The cool thing about like a bike is that like all this shit here on the top right here where the guy sits, you're not going to see half of that. So you can really just slack on those. Paint the grip black. Uh, now what we're going to do is after we painted the insides of these, uh, this face, this whole face plate, this fairing, this is all plastic art, man. Like our boy Brian made, our completely made, invented this. Like all the nuts and bolts and the and all that shit, that's all plastic art. So now I'm going to come in there and wet blend in uh, black and gray uh, effects to represent like a cool orky eye. You know, real subtle stuff, man. Just quick wet blend, do a quick shade, then draw basically a pure white line underneath it. Same thing for the nose. I really wanted that black gray contrast with the with the red. I felt like it really helps I pop it. I see I'm a million percent. Lord, that is Simon. better than a hundred percent. A million What's percent. What's up, my A man? million percent. Ooh, yeah. We are feeling a million percent today after that subscription. Thank you, Lord Cypher. But uh, back to the video. You know, I'm moving around deciding I want things to be a little bit more bright, you know, using a lot of control. This is that detail brush. You guys always ask me what I'm using. This is the $2.88 brush that I buy 15, 20 of at a time and just use brush soap to keep them in different levels of frayedness. And I find it to be the most economical way to paint as a pro painter. Same deal, we're pulling out the bigger brush again and we're gonna kinda wet blend in some gray to the black over this other eye. This, like I said, this is 100% plastic card, man. Like he made all this shit, man. And I just feel like you get really fun contrast when you come back in there and use blacks. I thought about going metal in there, but I was like, you know what? The blacks and grays, you're gonna get a more interesting contrast. So I'm just wet blending it in, brightening it up, and then I'll go back black and it's, I kinda go back and forth when I'm wet blending. As you can see, now we're cutting the darkness back into it. It's a real simple technique. This might take a little bit more skill than technique. This might be one of the only things I do that since I've been painting for like literally my entire life, I just instinctively like the wet blend things from my canvas days. Now we're just quickly banging out some highlights around these circles. Real easy stuff, man. You know, we'll come back in with the detail brush, blend them back in while it's still wet with a little bit of darker gray. It's a real easy thing to do once you do it enough times. Brain47, thanks for the fucking follow, man. Appreciate it. And since I got this color out of my brush, I'm going to paint in some highlights here on the tires. I thought about painting these cross pieces black, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use some typhus corrosion down there and create some dirt effects. Now we're using that black metal to paint some of these huge nuts, um, these big rivets, because it's going to be like a two-stage highlight. A little bit of black metal with a quick uh, chrome highlight. It's kind of the same thing as doing chrome and washing it. When they're this big, I find that doing the, just doing the highlights is going to be better. But they are also a little bit more annoying when they're this big because you, you have to paint the sides of them now. You can't just paint the tops because the sides will stay red. So that is a little bit uh, annoying. you got to stay aware of that. Now we're popping those highlights in there. This little, pe this little patch right here, do a quick highlight on it. We painted it black metal. Now we're going to mix it up with a little bit of that chrome to just kind of bang it out. Real exaggerated details in the orcs. I really like just being able to go really beast mode on orcs because they're super fun. <laughs> yep. British Pete, always the huge nuts. And here we go, guys. These are the two dudes right here. 
we are um, we're ready to do some washes, guys. We're ready to do some sick details. Back to the money shot, and here they are. All right, guys. Any questions before we uh, bang anything out? I'm gonna jump into Q&A. Engage. Um, real quick, guys. Let me bang out a quick whisper. All right, guys. Quick Q Q and A breakdown. Slow fuse gaming. How are babies made? Well. I was hoping you knew the answer to that because I was that was the first thing I was gonna ask you. Um, so impulse, second person who wanted me to talk about the tournament tonight. Uh, a few people are two people already asked, because uh, we went to the Hammer Rav GT this weekend. People want to know about Scary Terry's performance. So we will talk about it. Um, you want me to talk about it right now? Let me know. If two more people say talk about it right now, I'll talk about it right now. Grim Cashini. Follow me on YouTube. Started watching. Thanks, man. Hope you enjoy the live streams. Crom. Chronomus. For real, dude. Brian does not play games with his conversions. He's so fucking good. Killing time. Killing time painting. You two do learn from each other. At next level painting and slow fuse. I do. I watch the stream every day. Grazer, will you master paint the Titan in 2016 or move it to 2017? I plan on painting the Warlord this year. I'm just waiting to up. Uh, we're just more and more add-ons keep. You know, we have literally every accessory on that thing now. It's just it's getting just professionally built by Rob Bear and magnetized right now. All right, everyone wants me to talk about the tournament, right? Meow. People want to talk about Scary Terry. Um, Iron Headed. We do. They're up on my Facebook somewhere. The original pictures. Electric Eve, checking in. That is M. You may recognize her from such phenomenal uh, videos as Warhammer TV. She's also a fellow, I think, Blushed streamer is the new term we're using. The Blue Stream Team, the Brushed Lickers United Stream Team. She's amazing. She streams Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I believe. Early for us uh, Americans. We just did a podcast interview with her on the Long War. Check it out if you haven't already. All right, guys, fine. I'll talk about the tournament. And I guess I'll pull out Scary Terry. So here's Scary Terry. Anybody who doesn't know, we painted him on the stream. Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get him on, on deck. So this guy right here, may we did a lot of airbrushing. Hey guys, let me know if the sound went out just now, or if that was my keyboard being ridiculous. Hoping it's not my sound. All right, so scary Terry. We did a lot of pre shading. I showed you guys the uh, ancient Chinese uh, green pre shade for red. With this is all blood red, which is why it has that duller look. And we came back in and, you know, edge highlighted some of these things. Give it that real amazing contrast. This is that super old out of print model right here. We uh, showed you how to paint these power weapon uh, effects on stream right here. This is another Brian Mould special. That whole claw is converted. He had one little break at the tournament. This, this cable needs to get repaired. And I will repair that. But this whole lightning claw is straight converted. This is the original combo. I'm all about the power fist lightning call combo but you know scary terry full force came in like a true g this, g this weekend let me uh let me set him on to, set him down right here so you guys can see his ass is there a way to prop him up i think i can when there's a will there's a way ancient chinese bottle lid bot bottle cap lid right here all right that's not gonna work <laughs> scary terry is this gonna work we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna work. Oh, you know what? I got something better. How about this? Boom! Scary Terry. <laughs> Scary Terry on point. So I'll go into the Q and A while I talk to you guys, so I don't have to show anything. Sue Chef, thanks, man. 
Also, anyone who doesn't know, Slow Fuse Gaming is another amazing streamer. We are BFFs. He's an honorary member of the Wu Tang Clan. TabletopGamer.com, another streamer. He's amazing. All right, guys. So let's talk about this tournament. All right. Easy mode, okay? Easy enough. So my first ITC tournament. Anybody here is not a super big tournament player. Uh, that's um, the West Coast Frontline Gaming System. Uh, that has been gaining a lot of popularity. Frankie Figs. What's up, player? Thanks for the follow. It's been getting a lot of popularity here in the country. They, the reason it's super popular is because they came up with a pro tour phenomenon where essentially ITC official tournaments will gain you points toward the overall tournament within the tournament, the pro tour system, you know? So it is a win-loss format. Uh, and they, they, they use essentially the same mission five times in a row at a big tournament like this um, where they change some of the priorities, but essentially it's gonna be a random maelstrom chart for these objectives then at the end of the game you score these objectives with various bonus points it's the same thing five times in a row what makes the system unique is that you don't claim the maelstrom until you roll again at the start of your next turn so you don't score during your turn that your opponent will always have an opportunity to steal that objective from you all right so here's um here's kind of the pros here's kind of the cons this is the Hammer Wrath GT, five rounds of Pasadena Game Empire. It was amazingly organized, amazingly smooth. We used the best coast pairing systems all on our phones. I mean, without a hitch. I played five people. They were all really nice people. Talked to everybody in the shop. Everybody was nice. Really cool scene. Here, so that's the positive to my positive negative sandwich. Here's the negative. Literally nobody gives a fuck about the hobby. Now, everyone could say, oh, I care about the hobby. I care about the hobby. All my army's painted. Well, I don't believe in three-color minimum. I believe that's a bunch of bullshit. When we run the Long War Doubles Tournament, the social bringing hobby back event, we specifically say in our literature, like, three-color minimum is a bunch of bullshit. Hobby standard, we say must be painted to a standard that shows obvious hobby love. We don't subjectively tell you, like, you have to paint good. But we all can tell the difference between somebody who loves this hobby and somebody who cares and somebody who doesn't. Now, beyond that, a painting rubric will show you who's the best painter. So hobby scores must be considered. We do. We have a chart where it's like if you came in with a, to a three color minimum, you literally miss out on half the painting score. If you came in, you know, so I don't believe in, in, in three color minimums. So I played five people who none of them were fully painted, in my opinion. Their armies were either in various stages of being painted, like my, my, my good friend Alan Hernandez, uh, Black War Online, amazing Eldar army. And you can see where he was painting it and he wasn't done painting it. So that is okay. That's where like he, like the vast majority of his army was painted, but there were still elements that weren't painted and more based. I am okay with that. What I'm not okay with is playing three Gladius Strike Force White Scars armies in a row that are painted purple, red, and green. None of them are White Scars. It is basically a collection of models that this person already had, and he just added to that collection so he can play the best army in 40K. Um, now these are all great guys. Um, this is uh, my, this is Thomas, Tony, and Michael. These are all great guys, really com solid competitors. But there was, like, in my opinion, maybe Tony was the only one that showed hobby love because I believe he was using a Raven, a Blood Raven color scheme. And I have said, if Blood Ravens are a really good army, you really get chapter to make anything you want. Um, the army was very minimally painted. Uh, it was three color standard, but it was definitely a little bit above three color. Um, Thomas had a totally unpainted purple army. But you can tell he was a good painter, but, you know, in his own words, he said, I've been converting these models since before they came out with the jet bike model. I was like, okay, so that's years, dog. You haven't finished this army in years. Got it. Not happy about that. Though, he's an amazing guy. Michael was playing a Salamander's army with even Vulcan counts as a con and all his multi-meltas as grav cannons. I even witnessed Pablo, a big guy in the scene, running Eldar warp spiders, but he was using space marines to count as them. Now, I'm not going to pull any punches here. That's bullshit, bro. Like, you're a great guy and everything. You know, I think you're streaming right now in Frontline Gaming, playing some games right now, but dog, that's bullshit, man. That's not, that's not hobby love, bro. That's, like, that's the opposite of being a community leader. So, what I took away from this event was that I almost felt like I wasted my weekend. Felt like I went to Pasadena, threw money at a hotel, paid, you know, twenty fifty $50 or whatever to be there. Got to interact with people. That was the best part of the weekend. Got to hang out with people, drink some beers. But at the end of the day, I was like, felt like, I wasn't into this. I wasn't into the game. And so that also takes me to the mission structure. Those missions are bookkeeping. 
they don't let me lose myself to this amazing hobby that is Warhammer 40k. So as having my first ITC experience lets me now really talk about it with real ex experience. Now enough about that shit. Let's talk about how the army performed. Excellent. Um, let me look at the Q and A real quick because I know a lot of people here are getting hyped about uh, about this. Pretty much a lot of people are agreeing with me. For real. Like, I feel like people need to, like, really step up and enforce painting rubrics and say, and turn people away. The problem is no one wants, no one wants to be that guy that turns somebody away. Um, but here's, so, I lost to all three Gladius Strike Forces. Very narrowly, like, six to seven uh, points. Um, here's the thing, though. Gladius Strike Force is the best army in 40k in that system. They're going to always win Maelstrom, and they're probably always going to win end of gate objectives. The main reason they're always going to win Maelstrom in this system is because you don't score into the next turn. They have literally infinity objective secure models. You will never be able to put up a point if they don't want you to. And not to mention they got 10 rhinos for free. So yeah, my Chaos Base Marines lost all three Gladius Strike Forces very narrowly. And since it's win-loss, turns out it's a zero, uh, it's zero to a million. You see what I'm saying? But that's where the Pro Tour is designed to make you think that there is a reason to, to have those points. Win-loss tournaments are single elimination. Like, don't get it twisted. They make it seem like it's not, but it is. So after I lost all three Gladiuses, I played a Raw Dog Eldar army, beat it, and I played a uh, uh, Corn Demon Ken Death Star and beat it. The entire weekend, Scary Terry and his crew, his his spawn and his Cyclopea Cabal, they crushed everything. They never got taken off the table. Scary Terry never died and gave up Warlord one time. He literally murdered people. We faded two Death Stars back to back, mini stars in the Gladius that people like to run. We faded them. Like, they, no one could stand up to it. We even beat the Corn Demon Kid. You know, so Scary Terry was an absolute beast. He didn't play games. You know, he was a, an animal on the battlefield. Excellent! All right, guys. So... Quick summary, that was that was the weekend. Had fun hanging out with people, seeing people, handshakes and hugs, uh, drinking beers. Um, great interacting with five people and being a part of an event that was super well organized. Was not happy to see 58 and 60 people there and only six or seven armies that I felt were truly painted with hobby love. That was, that's what I took away from the experience. I'll talk about it more on the podcast, but bringing hobby back is still something that we need. GW is involved now, so I think that hobby is coming back. All right, guys. You guys ready to paint? You guys ready to do some painting today? Well, like Iron Headed, the thing about it is um, you can't hate the player. You have to hate the game. I don't hate the game of 40K. I hate the game that's being played with the ITC. You're actually stupid if you play for Hobby Love at ITC because you're going to be sad and you're gonna and you're not going to win and people are going to be playing on Painted Armies because it doesn't reward you. It actually punishes you for caring about theme and shit like that. You know, so intrinsically, it, it rewards you for just getting the models on the table, you know. Terry is a beast. Got Darth Rob saying, uh, right there with the Black of Hobby. Uh, Jen Praxis says, total beast mode. Um, Terry, uh, we got 4 Gen Z. Harsh probably isn't the right word. They push for painting, etc., which I love. I don't know what that's in reference to. Oh, I see now. Cool, cool. Uh, Diesel says, preach him, bro. Dumbass says, I care about the hobby. You know, and this is nothing against Frontline Gaming. I literally worked with Frontline Gaming over the last two days to help them on their stream because Reese and Frankie went on vacation and brought this, the laptop with them. Like, I literally work with I drink hundreds of beers with these guys. Like, I'm totally friends with these guys. Sidrian, don't feel guilty, brother. All right, guys, but let's um, but refresh the page, and I'm gonna start painting. Okay, that's what I thought. So we already broke a hundred um, viewers. It looks like. 
Um, I, was, I think that my uh, I think my Twitch live stream is kind of lagging a little bit. So I mean, I'm not leaning on it. Don't worry, guys. Uh, Electric Eve. See, I didn't even see Electric Eve until I refreshed. She says there's a lot of different uh, war gamers. Uh, some like the game, some like the paint. Some like to do both at different amounts. Not everyone is going to paint their army as good as painters. Yeah, Electric Eve. That, and like, that's what I'm talking about. Painted rubrics need to be designed. Like ours is designed to reward the effort. We don't we, we, like we don't like say if you don't paint well you're not gonna get points. It's it's worded to, to totally and I'm the painting judge at our events. Like I can see effort. Like you know what I'm saying? We reward effort, not skill. Skill is a separate award. Best painted literally exists outside the rubric. So the guy who came with the hot shit is gonna get rewarded. Ma'am, Bo beats. Stop playing because GW Games community uh, ever ever looked in the War Machine. War Machine supports the tournaments, but GW is coming back. They're coming back to LVO 2017. They're going to be a Dragon Con. The new CEO is making a push to make there be more awareness, and they're going to support. I wouldn't be surprised in 2017 they reached out to some local U.S. community leaders for an American spokesperson. All right, guys, enough game talk. This is a painting stream. His name is John C. Can't see me? Cad Cow. Thank you for the subscription, my brother. Thank you for the subscription. All right. Back to the software. So we're going to start off with some watches, guys. We're going to do some crazy shit. Anyone new to the stream who doesn't know about Yo Dogs, they're our digital currency. We are doing all sorts of competitions with them. You can get. Over $100 in, in, in prizes. You can get swag bags, gift boxes, and there's a raffle, man. So definitely read the rules and earn your yo dogs, guys. This is a John, Strina, a John Cena stream. Agent Arrow called it. All right. Let's make sure everything's in focus. There it is. So we're going to start on the bike first, guys. And I think that's because... I really want to do, um, I'm going to stick with the Vallejo washes today because I've been doing most of the orcs with the matte washes. Yeah, guys, use the, um, explanation, exclamation point yo dog to see how many yo dogs you currently have. But we are doing mad redemptions. Uh, Saudok already got its first package sent to him. We got a hundred dollars and 30 K miniatures sent to him and we do international shipping guys. <laughs> Iron headed. <laughs> Ridiculous. So, first things first uh, ancient Chinese technique, little water bottle lid, Vallejo black wash. I'm going to pour some in here. You guys are earning yo dogs. You're just watching, man. But there's many ways to earn yo dogs. If you're new to the stream, you, um, you're going to have less yo dogs than some of these other people. <laughs> Okay, so the reason, like I said, I'm going with the black wash is it's dirtier, it stains more, it's more orky. Um, I already showcased the gloss washes on some models. It's not right for this this paint job I'm trying to go for. And away we go, guys. So... As you can see from the video that I showed you guys earlier, he's all blocked in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go beast mode here, guys. Axlin, when do you put the yo dogs in? I haven't been able to cast the stream. Um, when did I put the yo dogs in? We've been doing yo dogs for a couple of weeks. And real quick, guys, let me know if the sound goes out at all. Give me a heads up. Someone let me know right now. I think my shitty Logitech keyboard's doing something crazy. Do you guys just hear the USB thing? All right. So we're literally just going to go beast mode with this Vallejo wash. And the Vallejo black wash is real thick, man. Now, you can water this down, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to wick it away from the areas I don't want it to pull up in, the flat areas. 
but I really want there to be some heavy stain on this model. It is orcs. You can see we already got a different look here. Like, basically, I don't care. Excellent! Jimmy, thanks for the follow. We just gonna beast mode it. And another reason I'm using the matte wash right now is because this will dry and we'll be able to come back and do some details. Whereas the gloss wash, we have to matte varnish it before we can do anything. When you go in beast mode and wash it. I say I'm a million percent. That one's That loud. is better than a hundred percent. A million percent? A million percent. Vagrant Wolf Boom. in the house. Yeah. <laughs> he just earned himself, I think, uh, like 200 yo dogs. But um, he says, let's paint this shit beast mode. So we're going to do it. Oh, damn it. I said I would never say beast mode in my life. It's the first time I've ever said beast mode. So that I like to go kind of fast. Oh, me chow in the house with the host. Me chow in the house. One second, guys. I just got a text. Could be from my lady. Always got to check the text when it's, when it's possibly your lady. You know what I'm saying? She's out in the road. She's doing some meetings right now. Want to make sure everything's cool. Yep. Got it. All right. So, like I said, I like to move it quick. Ah, oh, damn it. Only problem with the glove is that you can't feel when you put your finger right in some wash. I don't really need the glove on for this. I just have a, just have a habit of using it. Because I'm, I'm actually trying not to touch the model. As when I'm painting, I end up touching the model a lot. So basically, sorry guys, just spin it around, trying not to fuck it up. His name is John C. John Magdy. Thank you for the subscription, my brother. Love you, dog. Ugh, getting it out of... And this is, um, this exhaust pipe's not even real. Like, this is all converted, man. Like, he is so gangster, Brian, at converting. When you get close to the airbrush, go a little slower. South Dock. No, I don't know what's going on. It's like, um, it's like Twitch alerts. It's, yeah, it's literally reset the volume on every one of my alerts. I'm, I'm banging it down right now, guys. I don't know why it did this. Editing it right now. Is the background music super loud for you guys? I knocked down OBS as well. So I knocked, I, I double knocked volume down. Let me know if you guys can still hear music. Volumes have been adjusted. Please hype the donations up, guys. Thanks, Iron Eddie. Saudok, you're a true beast, earning yourself yo dogs. Saudok already won himself some models. I said him something good. He may or may not have a uh, 30k Contemptor Dreadnought in the mail. He may or may not also have Terminators. Alright, so basically, bang down this wash, super aggressive, super orky. 
gonna pull out a smaller brush real quick and we're gonna add a little bit of wash right here on these nuts in this channel right here I'll come back and highlight that up got a little aggressive there thought I was using a gloss wash We're gonna highlight up these crack these cracks pretty well. Like we did on the Def Copters. Come in the seam right here. Everything sounds good, thanks guys. It's always about them nuts. <laughs> Just like that. Border tech. Let me know if that's still super loud, guys. Let me know. I'm bumping volumes down again. Twitch alerts must have must have snuck a stuff updating on me. what I'm thinking. God, so dumb. Literally, they're down to like 20% volume. I don't understand what's going on. Sean Mac D. I think Twitch is acting weird today, man. My uh, my browser is not updating in real time, but my my tablet is. Just painting these scratches real quick. Just refresh the page if you're having any problems. That's what I've been doing. All right. That's good enough for now, guys. We're done with this. We're going to let this dry. Set this aside. And we're going to pull out the Orc War Boss. Mm. There he is. Old Gob Face Killer. One of the one of the OG members. So same kind of thing here. Absinthe, uh, yeah, the twi in the past the Twitch up uh, the alerts updates have been modified in the stream. Iron headed, is this the gloss wash? No, no, no. Oh, he's asking. Iron headed, excellent. No, I'm using the um, Vallejo washes right now. Just keep that shit muggy. Um, thanks, Vagrant Wolf. Jong Bingham, super loud, but super awesome. <laughs> nice. This, yeah, the hand is so clutch, right, guys? Like, uh, Brian is crazy good. I'll, I'll find the pictures, I'll find the post on uh, Facebook if I can. See what's going on here. Looking good. All right. People earning themselves yo dogs left and right. Badass. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull out the bigger brush to start with. I'm going to dry it off. Uh, like for his hand, I'm going to use this bigger brush. Want to be careful, guys, when you're when you're fucking with this close to the airbrush. You don't want to just go crazy. See, I almost said beast mode. Now you guys got me saying beast mode. I would never say that word. And like I said, the reason I'm going with the Vallejo wash because paint sex for the follow, brother, is because it stains more. I want a little bit more gritty staining than the, than the than the gloss wash does. The gloss washes are amazing because they really preserve the base color of the paint. So they are amazing. It's just it's kind of the opposite of what I'm trying to do here though. Got this huge backpack all chrome. 
Hey, Gennaro, you guys can hear my USB? I think it's my shitty Logitech um, keyboard. Just randomly saying I'm not hooked up. Now I am hooked up. I had a disaster a couple weeks ago where my Razer keyboard got some coffee spilled on it somehow. I don't know how that fucking happened. <laughs> so, we're actually not going to worry too much about his backpack here. All of this is going to be invisible when he's, in his, when he's glued into his bike. So, we're just a quick wash. We're not going to paint any extra details there. Drazzer, what's up, player? Just hopping in. You gonna earn some yo dogs today? You're leading. You're leading the race right now, man. I'm pretty sure you got more yo dogs than anybody. I'm not that it's a race. Literally, we. I have infinity gifts to give out. Turns out, if I just take the money you guys donate to me and then buy gifts, I will always have gifts to send to you guys. <laughs> Trying to give back. You guys do so much for me. All right. Backpack looking good. Make sure we're in focus. Let's get the light looking. Are we bright? Yeah, we're bright. All right. So we got kind of the bulk of the metal done here. And then I'm going to switch to a, a smaller brush as we get in tight. But I am also going to do the skin, like I said. Because I'm going to highlight that skin up. Excellent! This is like how I paint everything, man. Like, I like to block the colors in. I like the wash to start speaking for itself. And then I use the wash to kind of cheat to how I highlight. Like, it's like the wash gives me kind of a paint by numbers guide of like what's raised and what's not raised. So I know where to keep adding paint. go cad cow donations are not working for you let me take a look are you um using an e-check excellent just so you know if you use an e-check on paypal like if you don't have a balance in your paypal or a bank account hooked up it'll send an e-check and then it won't um indicate on the stream but once it indicates on the stream, we'll input it. Um, I'll take a look at it when we get back to the Q&A, brother. Sean MacD, do you thin the wash at all? Um, sometimes I do. I'm not thinning the wash right now. Not for this right here. And like his feet are going to be kind of hard to see on the inside. So like you don't really have to overthink these. Maybe we'll have enough time to put him on his bike today. And underneath this power claw, since like it's almost invisible, I'm just gonna hit all that with wash. Hit this serve, hit this connection piece right here. And this is this is like the the, the the shortcuts, you know. Like if I know something's invisible, I'm not gonna really paint it. Okay, we're done with this paintbrush. Switch into a smaller brush. Is this the brush I was using before? We're going to slide some wash in right here in the gap in the, in the cut. Get it on these, these nuts. These nuts. BB Bemit. Oh, God damn it. I'm missing all these. Uh, B Mjin. Thanks for the follow, man. Nemo Incognito. Thanks for the follow. And Fame Demise. Thanks for the follow, player. Appreciate it. Guys, new to the stream. Welcome. Don't forget to use the exclamation point Yo Dog to see how many Yo Dogs you earned. And check the prize down below. We're giving away prizes, man. Left and right. 
All right. So I've got some basic wash here. We're obviously going to come back with Rizzo Rust and do some fun stuff. Get in tight right here. Drop a little bit of wash around here. I want to create that little border between the, uh, the armor and the nut. With this, it's like, it's, you definitely, it's more important to get it on the armor than it is the nut. Gives you a little bit more contrast. Tablet is dying. Losing it. We'll come back with that Rizza Rust. It's going to be so clutch. Looking good. God face killer. Might have to plug my tablet in because I'm not going to be able to see it soon. It's about to go into paperweight mode. Same deal with these nuts right here. More important. Oh, got aggressive there. It's more important to get it on the red around it, creating that border, than it is actually on the metal. And you know, in some areas like this, I'm gonna since I already have the wash out, I'm gonna draw like a little line right here. Just like that. On these the holes in his vent, on his backpack. We'll come back in here and do any amount of effects we feel like we need to as we get there. And this part is fun for me because, like, it, the model just starts kind of starting to come together real quick you know, when you start adding these washes. And then we'll come back in and detail up the metal and give ourselves some I see streets. I'm a million percent. That is better than a hundred percent. A million percent? A million Trazer. percent. Boom, yeah. Trazer is a million percent. Pulling down 200 yo dogs. Love you, dog. You must have them all. Got to catch them all. So let's move over to this nut right here on the uh, the teeth. We did a good job of creating a lot of contrast, so really minimal wash here since we painted these nuts black. Kind of simple. Let's uh, paint this eyepiece, a little bit of wash. Completely 100% converted servo eye. Come back and paint in all the details on it. That simple. On his gob, we got some. We got a nut kind of hanging out back here. Boom, got it. Right here. Hype Drazzer up, guys, if you guys haven't already. He's a million percent. Earning all the yo dogs. It's a million percent chance he's going to get himself a hundred dollars worth of fucking dope shit this month. All right, on these little nuts on the on the teeth, just coming in kind of real subtle. I kind of have this vision of throwing a little Rizzo Rust around these. I'm not sure yet. Bye, Bree Bree. Thanks for the follow. Mm. All right, so I think we got most Excellent. of the metal. Sir Laffin. Also, thank you for the follow. There's one little like piece of metal down here under his shirt. Hit that with black. Boom. I think he's got a belt buckle. Right there. Okay. 
So we pretty much got the metal. This will dry pretty fast, and we'll be able to detail this soon. Um, what I'm going to do, though, I think I just smeared a bunch of black wash on my face. That's Excellent. awesome. Boss Tenlot, thanks for the follow. Quick shout out, Drazer, with the clutch donation, Sal Doc, um, Vagrant Wolf coming in hot. Guys, earning them yo dogs. Let me also, real quick, make sure my boy got his uh, submission through. Because apparently. Apparently, something will always go wrong. You guys know how that is. Uh. Yep. So, definitely, it tracked it for you, my man. Earlier in the stream, I think Andrew, it tracked you, brother. I got you, homie. You'll get your points. You earned you earned your yo dogs, homie. All right. So what I'm gonna do here, guys? Let me look at the Q&A real quick because my screen, my, my I'm almost in paperweight mode on the, uh, the the old tablet. Nick says using transparent greens over metallic to pre shade transparent red really works. Thanks for the green pre shade trick. Thanks, man. I'm really glad that people are using it. Post pictures up on the Brush Liquors United Facebook page. If you guys don't know what that is. Take a moment to check the links down below. See what's going on. Also, you can check out the Brush Lickers United pay, uh, link up top on the page. Great resource for all these streamers. I know, Killing Time. I know, brother. We got X Rian. X Rian. X Rian. What kind of paints would you recommend for beginners? I like Vallejo, but honestly, all the companies make good paints, bro. Except for Minotaur. I don't like those paints. Mam Bo Beats. Do you ever use oil washes? I, ba I barely have. I mean, I, I'm not a big oil wash dude. Cad Cal. You're the guy I was talking about. Got your donation, homie. Sir Laffin. We, we don't just kind of like John Cena. John Cena is, is life. <laughs> All right. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour a little bit of this burnt umber wash. Uh, umber wash. Superstar Destroyer. Thanks for the follow. We're going to pour some of this inside of the black real quick. I say I'm a million percent. That is better than a hundred percent. A million percent? A million percent. Booyah. Where's Fobo coming in clutch, earning billions of yo dogs, saying he always loves the stream. I love you, dog. I love you, homie. So what I'm gonna do with this Finda? Thanks for the follow, brother. What I'm gonna do with this new mix we just made is I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit his pants up with it. We painted them like with that terracotta brown from Vallejo Game, and we're just gonna drop it off real, real easy. Pants like this, I mean like fabric like this is real washable. And since you're not going to be able to see these pants when he's on his bike, like, you don't have to highlight anything but this this on the side right here. That's the only part you're really going to be able to see when he's riding his bike. So that's literally the only place I'm going to drop a highlight. So we got his pants done. Go back to a smaller brush. See, he's also wearing a t-shirt because that's how it works do. We're going to drop some of this wash off on the t-shirt right here. Gotta have the right wash for the game for, for the right color. And with how exaggerated these details are on these GW models, man, really the wash works so well. GW has the ha, has the model making skills. Now, I happen to like the Vallejo washes a little more than the GW washes, but GW did come in fresh with their new gloss wash line. It's so good. It's just not right for this model I'm working on. The whole, uh, all those dwarves I did the videos on, that was all gloss wash. You see, it was almost like cheating. 
All right, it's pretty much good to go on the shirt, and the pants. Um, and now we're gonna do the skin. So I'm gonna clean this brush off, pull out the old brush soap. I like to keep the brushes. Uh, these are my super cheap two dollar brushes that I buy. Like I said, love them. With a little bit of brush care, they last a lot longer than you think they will. And that like they're less than three dollars a piece. You can just buy like twenty of them at a time. And with a little brush maintenance, man, they will outlast a lot of brushes. All right, condition both the brushes we're working on. Looks like the tablet is dead. Q and A, what's going on? Desert Wolf, earning himself 100 Yo Dogs, saying hope to be as good as you one day. Painting is not all that subjective, man. I promise you, what I'm doing is not hard. It's all technique. Watch, we got hundreds of videos on YouTube, brother. Draz, uh, da uh, Dather77. It's every 30 days, but we started this competition on the 1st, so I, I was waiting until we had a stream line up on the 1st. So basically, at the beginning of each month, the competition resets and the raffles are drawn. You can earn a one-on-one -on -one hour painting class with the raffle tickets. People are scooting up those tickets left and right right now. Karn, use the exclamation point, I think, paintbrush, and it'll tell you... Uh, it doesn't tell me... I could no longer give you guys the link to where I get them. For some reason, Deepot doesn't like that. But, um... Literally, I will give you the details and the specs on the brush. You can just do a Google search and find the brush anywhere online. If you do a couple of Google searches, you can find the brushes for less than $3. Okay, so we're switching it up. Ugh, that one's dirty. We're switching it up. We're going to do the skin, guys. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to use Vallejo Green Wash. I just got this. I've never used it before. It's the first time ever. It's gangster mode. A little excited. Yeah, iron-headed. The br the br those cheap brushes we use. So I'm shaking up this, this green wash. I'm going to pour it in here. And then, I already know from experience that I like to instantaneously add brown to that. So we're going to pull the umber wash out again. And we're going to mix a bunch of umber in there to brown it up. We'll rinse off our brush, get the conditioner off of it. Okay. We're going to stir this up. Kind of a muddy green, kind of an army green color now. I'm going to pull some of the black we had earlier and darken it up another shade. All right, this is like a nice sewer wash. <laughs> I like that. Let's see what, see how it looks. Pulling a little bit more black out at kind of... At, oh. Kind of as I go. Sometimes I like set multiple washes in front of me. And just kind of pull from them as I go. So I'm going on heavy. And I'm just going to kind of keep manipulating the wash. Until I eliminate the pulling on the flat areas. Until it just sits on the, on the creases. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like a sewer wash. I've seen Secret Weapon makes an actual, like, baby poo wash is what I think it's called. Very similar to the wash we just we just made. So we're going to let it stay real aggressive there in the cuts. All these, and all the, uh, to create that definition. And we'll just come back in and just highlight it out. Giving us that paint by numbers love right there. 
starting on the top, so it'll start draining to the bottom. Just manipulating it. Gonna pull some of that black out, like I said I had in the other pot. Add a little bit in there to darken it as we go. Yank it out of that recess because it's pulling up a little aggressively there. Dry the brush off a little bit so I can I can wick some away. Just flip it upside down real quick. Throw some in on the on the muscles on the bottom that you can barely see. You barely see that stuff. So it's more important to focus on the top. And like I said, we uh we did a lot of exaggerated details first to really enhance this. Now we're gonna do his face. I already know I'm gonna pull a lot of the darker wash out first, because the face I want it to be, I want it to have a little bit more definition. And we'll do his teeth at the same time. So this is almost all the brown and black wash we mixed earlier, right here. Kind of toward this toward the bottom of his face right there. And now we're gonna grab the sewer color we made and just kinda slowly introduce it this is the ancient Chinese technique guys gotta get that wash game on lock simple wash game will go a long way you can see we got solid definition those exaggerated highlights we banged out a little pulling right there we're gonna move it around those exaggerated details are now kinda blended and fuzzed together you see? And the definition is super strong now. And now when it dries, we'll come back in there with a little bit of that green and pop the highlights out. You can see we're not doing anything that's difficult. This is literally easy as shit, man. <laughs> super easy. I want, them, I want them to sit at this angle right here so the way it's, because of the way it's draining. All right, and the bike is uh, is gonna be is gonna be up next. I'm gonna do some highlights on this bike. Uh, let me let me talk to you guys in the Q and A real quick as I wash my paintbrush off. Since I'm losing the screen, pull that glove off. Fuck that glove. Oh, where's my glass? Hmm. Got it. Desert Wolfman, thanks for the donation, brother. Finn D A, thanks for the follow. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. I think we got everybody. Drazzer leading that pack and yo dogs. Always wash behind the ears. D Joe Darkblade. Always. Alright guys. Taking a quick uh, smoker smoke break. Cheers break to talk to you guys. Mm. There's the partner stream where uh, I say cheers. You guys make this happen. I just put videos up. Your guys' continued input and criticism and communication with me on all the various mediums is what helps me enhance the overall product for me to figure out what I need to give to you guys so we can keep this symbiotic relationship going. Can't do it without you guys. Cheers, homies. Mm. It's just so good when it hits your lips. Oh, glorious. Quick shout out to um, to everybody I met at the Hammer Rap GT this weekend. Um, there was some good drinks being happened. We did slam some beers. We did slam some drinks. And uh, cheers to you guys. Always, always keep it icy. What's in the glass tonight? It's just iced tea, Diesel. What do you What do you think? Um, Iron Headed. Ten yo dogs to the first person who says what I'm drinking accurately. The actual name brand of the thing I'm drinking. First one to say it. Ten yo dogs. Proto Man 2K. You beat everyone. You heard that, Iron Headed? <laughs> Ten yo dogs. 
Looking up through the Q&A. Commander Kino. <laughs> Kool-Aid. I love that Kool-Aid. <laughs> you guys are so ridiculous. So last week we named this guy, he gave him his official Wu-Tang name. I'm wondering if, so he's Gob Face Killer, because he's got the Iron Gob. Uh, should we name his bike? Because, um... Scary Terry here. Scary Terry, his his uh, the Juggernaut's name is Snowball. Total Rick and Morty. So maybe we should name the bike. Forge NZ, what made you move into the pro painting? Um, I'll show off the orcs for a second. So obviously, here's the orc army we're working toward. We got our uh, uh, Puppets War. Uh, the plane models coming in fresh for our Defcopter star. Uh, to answer that question, Forge, I've been an artist my entire life been trained many ways I have multiple degrees well it turns out it's hard to fucking be an artist if you are just you know if you don't have a niche so over the years of just not being able to make art convert for me and being a, basically I poured concrete for like seven years and then one day I was like oh man this is hard it's, I'm gonna fucking die so I just started um kind of just something I did anyway painting kind of just started uh getting offered from uh commissions for a while then um, was able to line a couple of people up and then start kind of like not pouring concrete all the time. Then after a while, I just had so many people lined up. I quit concrete and then just started painting. That was 2010 is when I start when I started Next Level Painting. So basically, beats being out doing concrete. Dathar, you have plans for streaming on nights other than Tuesday and Saturday? I do. As, um, as we become more successful... Um, as Twitch becomes supplementary income, we can take less commissions. We have a lot of things. We got Patreon, which is supplementing some of my income. YouTube, which is supplementing a very small amount of my income. Um, and Twitch with your donations. Um, it does help because I don't use, I'm, we're partners, so we don't use ads. So fuck I, I just, we're not using ads on the live stream. So I get no money there. And subscriptions, while fun, I literally don't get... I get a $2 a subscription. It's garbage. Um, you guys' support here... here The growing support I'm getting here and the growing support I'm getting on Patreon... will There is a number, which, I'll, which is private, which if I hit that number, I know, based on how much money my commissions make me, if I can quit commissions. And if I can quit commissions, I'll stream literally five days a week. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, commissions are the least effective way to help the community, in my opinion. Protoman 2K, been watching your videos a long time. It's burning in my mind. <laughs> Chaos 2017 Rick and Morty from Demo. Saul Doc. Gork face, that's a good name for the bike. What model were the juggernauts you had up? Hold on real quick. Let me show you again. This is Scary Terry. This is um that's um that's a corn juggernaut, bro. That's the first that's in the nineties. That's the that's the juggernaut that uh we used to have. It's all pewter. All pewter. The huff, you notice them base the, the leaves? I love autumn leaves on bases. Yeah, Death Arm. Sorry, but yeah, yeah. For real, though, we are going to... I mean, I do have plans to go on five days a week. What was that? Sir Lathan. I worked with John Cena when he was doing the the indies. Wait, what? 
Hold on. You know, so you know John Cena. You have his number. I want to get an old side I want to get an old squat model, put him on bike. Going to use him as a uh, Sam I own, call him Tiny Rick. Tiny Rick! Oh my god. I met this guy named um, Hayden at the tournament. Real small guy, little guy. I instantaneously started calling him Tiny Rick, and he'd never seen Rick and Morty, so he thought I was just an asshole. <laughs> I'd be like, dog, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. I got to put a little more e juice in my shit. I need to get my nicotine. You know how it is. A man of vices. Quit smoking cigars and shit. So I don't get a cancer. I'm still addicted. Dan, I'm vaping, um... Vaping all organic. All organic. Um, tobacco flavored uh, kind juice. Uh, they've they've put a basically a prohibition on on vapor now. Like, so I, I mean like shit's about there. But I mean like big tobacco lobby is really trying to shut down this shit because people are quitting smoking now. So like I put a huge order in and got stockpiled because you don't know we don't know what's gonna happen in the next two years. Oh, sir, laughing. That's so baller. You have <laughs> you have you have John Cena's email, dog. I would literally do anything to get that email. What if we can get him in chat one time? What if John Cena donated five dollars and triggered a John Cena gift? Would the internet crash? Cad Cal, the support. Okay, are you talking about donating so that you, so that you can get a, a gift? If you want a gift, I'll trigger you a gift. You did donate. If you're talking about supporting me in a different way, Patreon is one of the best ways to support me. But the channel offers multiple prizes and more engagement. <laughs> yep, crooked letter. And this stream, this stream is John Cena, Ace and Arrow. Yeah, Dan, Big Tobacco was trying to get into vaping because they just wanted you to not quit. They actually offered a shitty e-cigarette vape anywhere so you can smoke on planes. So that way you like never had to quit if you were like a businessman. The second like real vaping got good and people started just not smoking, they decided that their lobby was going to ramp it up and get it banned. So now they got all the shame videos on the internet. My lady's a rep. She sells them on the side. All right, guys. Enough of that break. This orc is dry. You see how fast that that, that wash is almost already dried. You see? I mean, I, don't, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Like where people don't paint their armies. I'm like. Look at the results we have. If we just stopped painting this guy right now, if we just, if we just never, if we never did one more detail on this guy, literally, like, if a whole army was painted this way, motherfucker, it's like, come on, man. We barely put any effort into this, and it looks this good. That's why I, like, just, I just want to see effort. I don't care about how good it is. All right. Let's mess with this bike. Oh, wait. Some of this. Okay, we're going to do some red highlights. That's what we're going to do. Uh, Cad Cal. No, I ship internationally. Saudok is UK, brother. I will, I will, I have it, I have it down to a science. Uh, shipping comes out of my end. Don't worry. You, you, you get $100 MSRP. I don't take it out of the prize. I float the shipping. I'll ship anywhere, brother. Iron Headed. We're not there yet. Almost. I'll put them on the, I'll try to get them on the, I'll try, I'm, what I'm really trying to do today is get the bike on this base right here. 
I got some secret weapon bases right here. So I did a little bit of pre-work on it. This is my scrapyard base. Got the new ovals. But what we are going to do is highlight some of this red. Start doing some of that. Banging down that red. So what I got over here off screen. Because I got some of the reds. So this is the red. The orcs of this red. The scarlet blood. So I'm going to pull some of the scarlet blood out. Put it on my palette off on the side. And the next progression in game color is this hot orange. I'm going to pull out some of that hot orange too. And then the next progression is a little bit of this orange fire. Pull out a little bit of that. And I got three little piles over here in my palette. I'm basically just going to kind of just fire from the hip on this. Pour a little water out. I'm going to get my uh, paper towel ready to go. It's right here. Okay. Don't diss the Vikings. All right. All right, players. It is now time to put our glove on, though. This is where it's important. I want to fuck this model up. Okay. So I got some of this Scarlet Red out first. And what I'm going to start off with, honestly, is I'm going to start off with some of the dark edges. Blackmore, what's up, brother? It's my good friend Alan right there. Dropping a little bit of highlight off here. And I just love the way, like, uh, highlighting the dark edge looks. It gives you a, a kind of just a fun look. These uh, teeth are not easy to highlight, though, because they're so uneven because they were converted. Oh, got a little aggressive. I'm going to have to fix that. Excellent! Just doing the, just the tip. Just give it some fun, just some, a fun look. Like I said, it's just one of my things that I like to do. Dark side edge highlighting. Just some simple, gives it just a fun little look. But I got a little aggressive right here, so we'll have to tighten that up. Like, I let it spill out. And we have a little... Right there. So, But now, let's, we're going to pull out some of that orange that I showed you. Some of the, the hot orange. Mix it a little bit in with the uh, scarlet red. We're going to come up top here. And we're going to highlight up here. And we're going to punch up this, this red up there real quick. And we're going to, we're going to definitely work on the scratches too. I'm going to pour a little fire orange in the mix, which is the brighter color I showed you earlier. I'm going to add a little bit of this to the, to the points. Not everywhere, just on some of the more aggressive angles. Simple, simple. Now the thing here is with these scratches, you want to draw attention to them. Like right here. So 
So I'm going to draw a highlight on the bottom of the scratch. And then I'll come back in and draw, drop a little black in under the eye. This is where the light would catch it. It really helps it look three-dimensional. Even though it is three-dimensional. Simple stuff, guys. The thing about minis is that they're so like they're more subtle, so they need help. You know, you try to create like you try to create the light as if they were on the full size. And the problem is like with something small, it doesn't light as well. Which is why we don't just paint solid colors and let it sit there. Same thing with these scratches over here. Just get to just catch the lips. Just like that. Coming through. Dumma says, I think we need to bring up the brush cleaner, man. That shit is amazing. Save 10 old brushes with it. Yeah, that dude, the brush shampoo, man. So this is a, this bullet hole, you really want to focus on those bottom scratches. You can really get that three-dimensionality. Now, one of the other tricks is I'm adding a little bit more red to the mix, so I don't deviate too far. This inner area right here, you definitely want to draw a, light, a nice little red line on it. And then build that orange up. Real important to making that red pop. Super easy. Sick tech. I'm going to pull a little bit more of that hot orange out. Really? Now I'm going to grab that super orange. like that I'm gonna come back in here and, and work on these scratches a little bit more for you guys as soon as we're done with this right here all right quick little highlights right there now I'm gonna clean the brush off a little bit I'm gonna pull out a little bit of black Saudok, all, all this talk about lips and tips. <laughs> yep. Sous Chef in the house. Everyone doesn't know who Sous Chef is. He's a fellow streamer. Streams late at night. Almost every night. Love him. So now I'm going to come in these channels. Drop a little black in here. It's going to enhance the scratch. The idea is that 
the shadow is being cast down upon it, and then the edge on the bottom is catching the light. Real simple phenomenon. You can kind of apply it to anything you want, and it will look good. Excellent! Gray Hoser, thanks for the follow, Holmes. Just like that. You see, we're getting nice, nice three-dimensional scratches. Oh, we missed them down here. We'll get those. Just like that. Excellent! Demonic Warrior. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Right here, we got to throw some highlights right here. So I'll start off by darkening it. And that already does work as, as long as so as soon as you put the dark color in there. Sir Lathan, you out of here, brother? Thanks for playing, man. Earn them yo dogs. Don't forget to check me out on the uh, the Twitters and the Facebooks and the YouTubes. Earn more yo dogs. Excellent. Catching all those follows today. Valkyrie44, thanks for the follow, man. Italian Pasta, thanks. I'm dropping some actual black into these, into this divider. Help with the definition. And what we'll do here is since I have this on my hand, I got a little bit of silver right here on the, on the front plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my own scratch. You see, I'm going to sometimes when you fuck up, you can just fix it with a little fake scratch. Boom. Like that. Just covered a covered a mistake with a scratch. Bike is looking good. Hmm. Old gob face himself. Looking pretty good too. Can you imagine all these red highlights here? Same as that. We'll throw some scratches on his hand too. Uh, let me uh, let me look at the Q and A, guys. Tablet is not doing its job right now. Take a quick smoker drinker. Mm. Have a, oh, Iron Headed, have you ever used a flow improver um, as a thinner, like when I'm using my paintbrush? I have. Dumma, your girl's about to get into 40K? What? Diesel, it's looking good, right? Like, I'm super happy with these Oryx, man. I'm really excited to get my Orc Army scratched together. <laughs> my IT, my ITC experience this weekend proved to me more than ever I have to be bringing Hobby back as hard as possible. Orcs the perfect way. Pain Slinger, thanks for the follow, brother. Welcome to the channel. You just you are earning yo dogs right now. Our digital currency.
Oh, and also Cal. Uh, did you ever answer my question? You got to use at Yo Dog or I don't or at Next Level Painter. I won't see it. D Kratzberg. Do you ever get sick of a model while painting? Fuck yeah, man. Hell Drake, number one worst model to paint. I will always get bored of that model. Iron headed. Yep, yep. My uh Zat Snark the Ripper is gonna keep all my orc bikers objective secure. I mean I don't know. I mean I gotta pay for it though. It's not free like I like Gladius is. Absinthe, you're earning those yo dogs. You can buy all sorts of stuff. Raffle tickets. Dumma. Po just post up the models. Just post a link to it on Facebook right here. Yeah, Absinthe. Like an Eldrake is the worst. Quick shout out to my donators. Desert Wolf, 978. <clears throat> Earned himself 100 yo dogs. Where's Phobos? He's an old schooler. Loving the stream as always, he says. Man, this dude just picked up like 300 yo dogs. Poofy Carnival, thank you for the follow. Drazzer, he's the leader of the Yo Dog Pack, but there are no leaders because we have infinity prizes to give out. Earning himself a couple of hondos. And Sal Doc, man. Sal Doc already got himself some 30k stuff this month. And his name is John C. Killing Time Painting. That's a good friend of the show. He is actually um, also working on... He's working on some super secret orcs for me. I don't know how secret they are. I already posted them up on Brush Lickers. But he is... We're, I'm trying to get the community engaged on, the, on bringing Hobby back with these orcs. He reached out and said, Hey, can I build some big stuff? Can I do your mechs? Can I do your mechs and your Gretchen? And I said, Of course you fucking can. So he's putting down some amazing conversions up on Brush Lickers. Killing Time... Let's hype this guy up, please. Earning himself approximately 1 billion Yodog points. Um, post the link to those uh, Big Macs you're working on for me, brother. Because obviously, all Orc lists need some Big Macs. I think I have four in my list right now. It just keeps changing. But um, him, I booked my boy Brian, reached out to me. Try, I mean, yo, literally, Orcs. You think the struggle is real with chaos? Psh, wait till you play Orcs. Killing time painting, I love you. Excellent! Tydra Hell. Thanks for the follow player. Excuse me guys, I'm just got I'm just having my, my smoke and my drink break. I got a little bit left in the cup. Enough for a tiny swallow. Cheers, killing time. AOS orcs for Big Mechs iron headed. Nah no nah, man. You can't it's gotta be orc it's gotta be they gotta be techie, bro. And Big Mechs are kinda skinny, you know what I'm saying? Like they're the they're the, they're the, they're the nerds. Crooked letter, six squads of three war bikers in my tourney list. Just min max. Like literally just three squads of, or six squads of three, they're fifty four points, they're objective secure, they can go twenty four inches. Uh, we're not playing games, bro. We're like literally. We have a Death Star. We have a Stompa. We're using the Dread Mob. We've got Lucky Stick. We got I, my personal take on it, though, is I use uh, Death Death Copters for my Death Star. So I have five Death Copters with Buzz Saws, Twin Link Rockets. Got Zad Snark joined up for Skilled Rider, so they have three of Jinx saves. We got Lucky Stick War Boss with a two Jinx save with rerolls. We got another War Boss with the Power Claw and Pain Boy. We're using two Cads. So we and they have hit and run and scout because that's what um, war uh, def copters do. So we can scout this unit and we can hit and run. Um, we got the dread mob stompa with Gretchen in it for objective secure. We got it's got five basically five repair rolls. We got a void shield generator, uh, Orky of course converted by my man Black Tower, and uh, five solo def copters to outflank. They can go literally 36 inches in a turn, get to those objectives, while the war bikers objective secure can go to objectives. So basically, come up the gut with these amazingly strong units and get on the objectives. Do 
Yes, Dumma. We can now post links. But Iron Headed reserves the right to bounce you out of here if you fucking abuse it. Cad Cal. All right. Let me explain it. Your donation is pending on according to PayPal. And if you and, and if that that means for some reason PayPal decided it's going to send me an e-check. That'll happen typically if your credit card is linked up or if your bank account's not or you don't have a PayPal balance. If that happens, it won't trigger anything until it gets approved then Twitch alerts will approve it. If you're having a problem with the PayPal, you can, um, you can use the other credit card features. I see you in here. Whisper me what your real life name is, and so I'll know if it's you. I see you in here, but it won't update until next week um, uh, for seven days is the problem with e-checks, man. But you um, you definitely did donate if you are if your name is what I think your name is, and we will hype you up. Valkyrie finished up a brass scorpion. Fuck the wires, bro. Post that brass scorpion up, man. But Cat Cow, whisper me your name. Um. Let me look real quick. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. All I've got is a, is a PayPal. That's the link. Everyone click Dumba's link. Your, 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 your lady painted these? Aren't these the, um, are these the, uh, fucking Cromlick? Like, who fucking made, these are like the spawn from Cromlick, right? What the fuck are these? These are amazing. I got the link, dumb, uh, dumb, Cal. I'm a, I'm a post. Cal, just, just click on my name, and you'll see one of those icons will be send a whisper. Mansions of fucking madness. Are you kidding me, Dumba? That is so fucking baller, man. Holy shit, man. It is good. It's good. I like it. It looks good right now, man. Um, send the link again. Uh, put it, put the link up again, Dumma. But don't put the... Um... Oh, let me see if I can get it. If I can post the link again for you. Did, did you post... Did you post the picture link or the... Um, YouTube or the Facebook link? Joe Dark, Joe Darkblade, 200 Yo Dogs, and my favorite gift of all time. Mm. Zangief, he is the Red Cyclone. Love you, homie. If you, if your, if your profile, okay, here it is. If your profile is not public, um, Dumma, people aren't gonna see it. Is the thing. So real quick, I got this. I got this, guys. I'm about to post this for my man right here. You guys ready? This is what Dumbass posting right here. I'm about to add it to. The, I'm about to add it in full screen, guys. Right here. Is this what you were talking about, my man? Moving it up. Move on up. There it is. Dumma. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did you just say your lady painted this?
She's hiding. Yo, real quick. What's your lady's name? Type it in. Let me know, Dumma. <laughs> there you go. That's for her. Excellent. This is, um, Lauren painted this. For some reason, she's embarrassed, but this is amazing. A couple more highlights, um, and you got a golden demon piece here. This is amazing. Mansions and fucking madness, bro. That's a great chaos spawn mod. I'd love to put that on a 50 millimeter base. She did, dog. Literally, this is amazing, dog. Is this her first paint jobs? I mean, like, dog, you should have seen how shitty my shit was when I first started. Like, literally, this is dope. Like, I was at a, I was at a tournament all weekend and no one's shit looked this good. You know what I mean? Like, It's amazing. All right. I've had enough smoke. I've had enough drink. I think we're ready to um, we're ready to work on some of this metal here. All right. Anyway, Lauren, great job. Everyone, throw Lauren, throw throw Lauren a little bicep flex. That's for the ladies. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little dry brushing on this bike. Or waiting on the on the gob face killer. So I'm going down. Getting a million Facebook messages. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a little bit of this uh, this chrome, my palette over here off to the side. And I'm going to I'm going to dry brush it. Real subtle though. I'm drying the shit out of this brush. Almost nothing. Hold up. Cad Cal just donated a billion dollars. Says, keep up the good work. Any chance on more AOS painting? First off, I love you, homie. Always keep it icy. And yes, we are going to be painting more AOS. We're going to be painting all the fucking AOS, man. We're going to be painting all these tree people, the tree persons. I've got um, the beetle lady. I've got the tall tree people. i got the little tree people. I got all the tree people, man. We'll be painting the shit out of some fucking tree people. As soon as we're done with the Realm of Battles table and the last bit of terrain I gotta paint, we're gonna be right to the Sloveneth army. I think it's how you pronounce it. So we're just dry brushing back in. Excellent! Noodle oh doodle. Thank you for the follow. Dry brushing in. We're getting that little antique look here. You see, this is like. 
we're, we're bringing that chrome back up, but it's giving us a nice finish. You see? It's very orky. Of course, we're going to come back in with some Rizzo Rust. And we're going to rust this shit up. You know we got to. Real simple right here. Get a little bit more on the brush. Same deal right here. With pipes, I like to go this way. With, with the curvature. And with nuts and bolts, I don't give a fuck. I just go with, I just do whatever. You like this new GW base brush? I, I just immediately turned into a fucking metal dry brush. Fucking GW. Get a tighter brush game. You know, I thought about buying the Artificer brush today and, and just to just to review it just to review it. But even with my wholesaler license, I looked at the price tag. Nah. Nah. Ain't about that life. <laughs> It's literally like eight times more expensive than the paintbrush I use right now, even with a distributor. I learned my lesson. I like GW's models. I like their washes. I like their technical effects. I do not like their paintbrushes. Except for a mean dry brush. It's a solid dry brush. Getting that nice antique finish, like we said. Like, the orc is going to cover up almost all of this area, so, like, I literally don't care about it. Excellent. You're saying the Artificer is, is the best one? <laughs> yep. Yeah, One-time use, uh, cat, cat cow. Iron headed. Cad Cal donated fifty. Oh, he said it. Iron headed is diligent in updating the Yo Dog score in real time. So everybody can get their prizes. And the, all these controls right here, these are going to be perfect for the GW uh, gem effects. We're going to use a lot of typhus corrosion down here. We missed. We didn't watch this. We forgot to. It's okay. I'm with this. I'm okay. Since I have a little bit of this on my brush still, I'm going to do these fingers right here. The tips. Trying to stay away from the black. Do a little bit on his backpack, but like I said, this is ninety. This is not even gonna be visible. Smokestacks.
Now, sections that are real close to skin, we're going to do more of a controlled wet brush, dry brush, like this. Okay, we're good right here. Wash the old uh, GW brush off. Throw a little brush soap on it because there ain't no reason to mistreat it just because it's, it's because it had bad parents. Conditioned. Okay, we're going to move on to Typhus Corrosion here next. And don't worry, we'll highlight this green as well. Let me put the Typhus Corrosion on right now because it'll take a second to dry. We're going to take this GW brush and it's now going to be a Typhus Corrosion brush too. I can find some Typhus Corrosion. Here we go. Look at the Q&A, see what's going on. Yeah, Michao has one, uh, Iron Headed. We got to get him to use his Artificer. Sin for Game 69. She's off. Everyone throw her a bicep flex. Grazer, thank you, man. Love you, homie. Dumma, for sure, brother. Killing time. I can't wait to see the new pictures. Rhinoceros, I use that brush on the daily. It's great, but yeah, $25 is ridiculous feel you. Well, I'm glad that you guys say that the artificial brush is good, though. Slow Fuse Gaming. Yeah, we don't we don't know what's going on with the gifts right now. Um, no settings have changed since last week. As a matter of fact, I have lowered the volumes on every one of these stupid gifts. And um, they're still super loud. Like, literally, they're all down to, like, 5% volume. And I even lowered the OBS volume. I just don't know what's going on. There must have been a stealth Twitch alerts update. We've adjusted them twice during the stream. Let me look. I mean, I'm going to bang them all down to like almost nothing. Let's see, what, let's see if it actually adjusts. Because this is supposed to adjust in real time. Because these are just links. I mean, they, okay, these things are like barely volume to them now. All right. Readjusted. Thank you for looking out for me, brother. You're the man. Saudok, I know you're from Norway. You said it. You're a Viking. Got it. God, you're cooler than us. I know. Mama Beats finishes up some Kefalix Overlord during the stream. Need to critique. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, did that volume change, guys? Jazar coming in clutch. He's the leader of the pack. Gotta run. Gotta get my yo dogs first. Peace out, homies. We love you, dog. The countryside. Burning the peasants. The thatch roof cottages. Richter Stale Studios. Thank you for the subscription, brother. Let me know if the volume is feeling better now, guys. Love you guys. Um, to go back to Mamo Beats, he says, "Need to critique, need the critique of the John Cena of painting. Cut the color scheme. What do you think? Oh my God, I have now the John Cena of painting. Oh my God, these look amazing. Everybody, real quick, real quick, hold on. I got this. I got this." Hold on. Boom. Look at this. That's huge. 
I will I will edit that scene, guys. Take a look at this. Look how fresh this looks. Good job, man. Mammo beats. I love it. John Cena approves. Sidrian, but now I'm getting the Suplex City base hits. <laughs> Shagoth, hit me up on Facebook. If you if you if you give me gift ideas on Facebook, that's how that's when I do them. They are sweet, man. That is fresh, man. Mammal Beats, you're killing it. Uh, By Bribri said, this is only the third paint job ever? Yo, hold on a second, guys. I don't believe this guy. I'm going to call bullshit on this. This does not seem possible. This is amazing. That seems that seems too legit. Yo, man, this looks so good, brother. Bye, bye, Bree Bree. This is fucking dope. Love the airbrush work. Love the fucking highlights, man. Fuck yeah. Sick work. Up. Sarah Sponda, thank you for the follow. All right, sick. Oh, oh, oh. We got another one. Okay, more show and tell. Just a few more minutes. Just one more. One or two more. Two more. This one and then one more. Uh-oh. For some reason, this doesn't want to work. Can't get yours to work, homie. Hold on. All right, move, I'm moving up to another one that I can get to work, hopefully. Oh, uh, for some reason, it's not letting me um, show these off anymore. I can show mine off. Uh-oh. Well, we broke it, guys.
Well, I'll do more research to figure out why they're not working anymore. I'm sorry. But um, I don't know what's going on. Agent Arrow has a fresh Valkyrie. Um, here's the link right here. Take a look at it. And also, um, I mean, everyone check everyone's links. For some reason, OBS said, you can't do this anymore. I'll investigate this. This is a pretty cool model to show off what other people are doing. I'll see if I can incorporate it into the stream. This is kind of impromptu. You guys are doing great fucking jobs, man. You guys are fucking killing it. You guys should have your own streams. This is fucking amazing. Check out these Facebook links. Holy shit. All right, <laughs> back to work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tie for corrosion some pieces here. And let it dry and we'll come back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie for corrosion up this, this tire. Because it gives texture to it. And then I'll come back in and dry brush the dirt effect over it. And it'll look great. This is an ancient technique for doing bike tires the texture really works well for this Excellent. mr. peenies <laughs> thanks for the follow same thing back here on the on the the treads real heavy typhus corrosion back here and we'll sneak it in underneath just like that like I said we'll come back in and dry brush this when it's done drying and we'll make it look like dirt set that aside wash the typhus corrosion off our gw brush and we're going to paint this green we'll use a little brush up because obviously typhus corrosion is super ridiculous Set it down. Got our detail brush out. What we're going to do, the, we're going to use, we're going to go straight to the top, guys. Necrotite green. Favorite green of all time. Pulling some out in the palette. Got our detail brush out. Make sure we're in focus. We look good. And now we're just gonna. Are we in focus? Looks good. Okay. So now I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint by numbers some of these highlights. And just and just pop them back out. Oh, that's a John Cena gif. Still loud. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just noticed. Loud as fuck still. But still awesome. Ro Rotor Blue. 200 Yo Dogs. Working on a Dragon Fate Diaz terrain set. Getting fired up to use your green technique for the red lava. Oh, shit. I can't wait to see the pictures of it, brother. Thank you for the donation. I love you. So, now this is a hard part in the orcs. You gotta paint these lips. I'll make sure. I'm so close to the model now, getting that focal range is hard. There we go. So we're painting these uh, bumps right here. Uh, off camera, of course. Right 
right there. A little bit of highlight right there. Painting the orcs are fun. I wanted the war bosses to be a little darker too. Because I think in the old lore. Like the darker the skin the more baller the orc was. Remember Scar Boys were like really dark. Back in the old days. They're the only strength for orcs. So they're like knobs. Waffles. Mm. Got the eight bit can't see me, homie. Yo, thank you for the description, brother. So we're getting some nice highlights in the face here. Just real simple, paid by numbers, man, you know? Just really just pop those details out. I really want to get this piece right here highlighted. Got it. Ear. Right there. Sorry, these upside down. Got to hold it upside down to get these, these angles. Real fun looking orc right here. I like this real beat up looking guy. That's the that's the effect I was trying to get on these war bosses. Like they seen some shit, you know. Whereas the death copter guys are still puny boys, you know. Some subtle highlights. Gabriel, man, I'm so glad to hear you're getting twisted. Pulling out some more Necrotite. We're going to work on this hand. Couple of quick highlights along the, the, the lengths of the fingers. So I'm just basically just drawing lines is what we're doing. That's kind of like how I create um, contrast. V like just very hyper hyper highlighted you know like just just pop them out you know gotta make the models pop look fresh now the muscles up here we get to we get to artificially create some muscle uh definition here and this is some sick tech right here you guys are gonna like this all right so what i'm doing is i'm just adding some rips, you know, some like just some straight definition. Like these are non-existent, man. I'm just, I'm just saying, fuck it, dog. We're like basically cell shading this guy's arm.
Tabletop Games. What you, you watching this orcs, dog? Yo, my man Tabletop uh, Gamer.com. He's painting orcs right now too. Now we gotta come in this little crease right here. Grab a couple of simple highlights in there. Bring the crease around. This is like where I said you just gotta kind of fake it. Like none of those lines are actually there. Like none of that is there. We just said fuck light. Light is stupid. We're gonna make our own comic book, you know? And that's that cell shading. I like that. For the orcs, I like that super exaggerated stuff, you know? I'm going to reinforce some of these highlights. with it I'm happy with that now we like I said we had already started by exaggerating some of these these muscles like we added all this dark in here right under this tricep cut so basically I'm just reinforcing the fact that this guy is jacked Just like that. Simple, you know what I'm saying? That dude is swole. These are not as smooth as they can be. I'm trying to smooth them up right now. Got that real comic book look right there on that arm. Feeling it. And once we matte varnish it, it'll really bring it down. Like we use that when we use that lusterless. Let's get this arm knocked out before I, t before I talk to the Q&A. Top of his bicep right here. Right there. So what we got here, we gotta paint this arm still. You're seeing we're getting a night. We have a nice darker green, and now the highlights are just extreme. We got to highlight all this red. We got to highlight this red right here. We got to get all this shit ready to go. We got to get all the rust effects on here. Throw some rust back here. Get the gob face killer ready to go.
real quick. Other arm. See, we already threw some exaggerated highlights on here. Before we even wash the model. And now we're just coming back in there and just popping them back out. This might be a thin coat right here. Something like that. The watch got a little uneven right here. Tabletop Gamer. Game.com. TabletopGamer.com, thank you for the description. He is a fellow streamer, and I think you probably can look forward to seeing him on Blue Stream Team soon. Um, he's too good not to approach. He's painting his own orcs. He's doing a great job. Thanks, brother. Hype this man up. All right, so also this vein right here, like I, I like it's another vein. I just invented that vein. Like I decided I wanted there to be a vein here. So before I washed it, I drew a, a bright line there. And now we're just emphasizing it. Back here on his neck. Drop a little highlight. A little bit of wrinkles. For gob faces looking right here. You know what? I might have a solution for this. Where the fuck is my shit? I've got something for this. There we go. That's where we're at right now. Let me take a smoker. Engage with you guys. I have so much ADHD, it's so hard for me to read what you guys are doing anyway, so this is definitely just better for my format. Just to take quick little periodic breaks. Saldok, if I started playing AOS, what would I play? Either the dwarves or the orcs. Joe Darkblade, I just did a thorough cleaning on my uh, Wada Eclipse, I guess is what you're saying. Nubfap, thanks for the follow. And it's back flowing all on its own right now. That means there's something inside the brass tip still. Or, the t or you haven't clamped down the top piece tight enough sometimes if there's uh, air coming through that, it'll do that for me. 
I've had that exact same thing you're talking about happen to me in the past. Sal Doc, what you got? Did you get did you paint that Sal Doc, that Nurgle Demon Prince? Did everyone see Sal Doc's Nurgle Demon Prince? Holy shit. Uncle Bang, thanks, man. Just working on some fun orky skin. Get that comic book cell shaded look. Sometimes you just gotta manufacture highlights that don't exist. And the bike, uh, the Typhus Corrosion is almost dry. And anyone, um, anyone new to the stream? Thank you for joining us today. We, um... We do we do two times a week, man. My schedule is posted down below. We uh, we like to work on orcs on the stream, but we also work on some other things. Very recently, uh, we painted. Ooh, what's going on here? Excellent. Looks like I somehow broke my ability to put pictures in the queue. Let's see. Nope, there it is. So we painted this guy a couple weeks ago where I showed off um, some pre-shade techniques, some greens uh, under some reds. We recently got to play him. We had an epic blast. Uh, we named him Scary Terry. We also recently have been painting a lot of orcs because our you know our personal army is going to be orcs in 2017. So here is super gigantic picture of orcs. Here is the orc death copters we're working on right here. These are coming along fresh. Additionally, let me see if I can now, let's see if I can get this new window to, to work with some of you guys' links. Here's a, here's a, um, there we go. Here's a viewer submission right here, Valkyrie. That's Agent Arrow posting. Look how fresh that Vendetta looks. Additionally, this Brass Scorpion. I can't remember the name. Who painted this? Because this is stupid. I love it. Some fucking Iron Warriors Brass Scorpion action. Fucking dope. But that's the kind of shit. Um, basically, we're doing a lot of red lately. <laughs> A lot of pre-shading, guys. Iron-headed. What'd you say? Warmer TV is trying to sell a painting process? Yeah, makes sense. Player -gification. You're here now, brother. Glad you made it, homie. Prominous. Thanks, man. I've painted a lot of orcs in my day, man. I had a Speed Freaks orcs army back in 5th edition. I used to love them, dude. I've painted 100 orcs before, you know. I kind of know what I'm going to do. Like, I didn't have to really pre-plan it. It kind of just kind of came back to me as I was going. Yeah, that Scorpion looks crazy good, huh, Agent Arrow?
<laughs> Annex 303, Spooky Scary Terry. Uh, Dan the Man 24, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it, homie. Uh, Rotor Blue, thank you for the donation, brother. Drazzer, as usual. Cad Cow coming afresh with a billion yo dogs. Joe Darkblade, killing time. One of my favorite people with another billion yo dogs. Where's Phobos, OG? Jazar, OG is the OG. Saldoc, first person to redeem 4,000 yo dogs and earn themselves with 30k minis. Beggar and Wolf, the guy who got me in the stream, and thank you guys for your donations. Yep, Iron Edit, no doubt. They're definitely trying to sell more paints. That's how they always do it, man. Is this Typhus Corrosion dry? Oh, it's so close to being dry. Not not quite, not quite. Man, the, the, the green is not quite right it's not like the I'm not it's a little it's, it's a little satin and that might go away with a light glazing I'll try that here in a second but um let's let's paint a little bit of the red on this guy or should we I'll let you guys choose should we try to get that bike on this base right now by finishing this base or do you want to see me highlight some of the reds on gob face killer not gonna do straw poll, don't worry. First three, res f the first three in favor of one or the other is what we're gonna do. Oh, damn, dog. You guys haven't checked it out. Playerification has an amazing brass scorpion too. All right, we're basing the bike, guys. Let's put that. Let's see how that bike. I'm actually I'm anxious. This is my first uh, new biker base. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out. See, I even I bought these GW dry brushes too to try out. I already used them. I do actually like the GW dry brushes. They don't suck. So let's finish this base off and then pin this bike to it. We'll bang that shit out. So, I've already done my standard Calvary Brown, a, a quick dry brush with some orange brown, and now I'm going to pull out some more orange brown right here. A little bit of orange brown on the old dry brush. I'm going to dry brush it up a little bit. Right over the Calvary Brown. I'm going to pull out a little bit of this filthy brown to mix in with the orange brown to give us another highlight. No big deal. Super easy. Get a nice little pop right there. Filthy brown from Vallejo. Okay, wash the dry brush off. Don't let any of the paint dry on the bristles because that's what fucking ruins dry brushes. Okay, so what we're gonna do here actually is we're gonna paint. We're gonna repaint that black. Pull out some any black will do. We're gonna go back to the um, the GW brush that we've repurposed into a anything I want brush. The medium base brush I'm looking for right now. Up, oh, got a little, got to clean off. We got to clean off our detail brush first. Almost forgot to clean it off. Brush soap. Excellent. It's got a bunch of green on it still. We almost fucked it up, man. It almost got thrown in the shitty pile. It's got tons of green on it. A little yep ok 
Okay. We're going to set that down. And we're going to hunt down our GW brush right here. This is how you know it's a good brush. It's like when you've only used it four times, you get that nice curl. That's how you know it's good. Meatloaf, Rumblin, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, brother. Let's pull out this black. I just want to. I want there to be contrast because it. The problem is we have so much metal on the bike that if we just painted this thing metal, it blend together. And additionally, if we just painted it with typhus corrosion and rust, it would blend in with the base. Uh, the gravel. We're doing like an Armageddon. Like, normally I would never do brown bases with red models. I would do black. But Orcs, Speed Freaks have a history, you know, from the Armageddon book back in the day. And so, like, that was definitely like a desert waste. So I'm definitely want to kind of maintain that love. I remember when the Speed Freak list first came out in the Armageddon campaign book, and I was all about them, man. My best friend, Mark Parker... He was bringing them Speed Freaks to all those tournaments and winning them back in the GT days, the old the GW ones. So we're, we're painting it black, but so we're going to do a... Excellent! Liar run. Thanks for the follow, Holmes. Because we're going to do definitely a... Um, I'm not sure how gangster I want to get just yet. But I was thinking about black so we can dry brush it subtly. Kind of went on thin here. So I'll just try to wick the, the, the liquid off. And add real paint back in. Just like this. Excellent! I did not understand that name. I'm about to look again. Let me let that dry for a minute. And you guys can remember. God face killer in the house. Rinse the old brush off. I want to say Ladzolt the Faceless. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Crazy name. Don't, I don't know what the I don't understand the reference, but I think it's cool. Joe Darkblade. I couldn't see anything in it, the needle cap, but cleaned it again and back in action. There you go, brother. We had a similar problem last stream. Gamma Goblins, you got a picture? Oh shit, dog! You guys seen Gamma Goblins link to his Space Wolf gallery? I see him a million percent. That is better than a hundred percent. A million percent. A million percent. Oh yeah! Playerification, thank you for the subscription, my brother. Love you, dog. Yo, it's just tight, huh? Sorry, guys. I just haven't been able to see the, the Q&A because my fucking tablet is pretty dead. It's on, like, battery save mode, so I can't even see the fucking text. Fucking dumb. I love it. Paperweight mode. Forgot to charge it last night. The Faceless is a Necron Nemesaur. Oh, shit. Solid 40k nerd. Love it. All right, guys. While we're letting that black dry, like I said, anyone new to the stream? Since we just came back from a tournament and we painted Scary Terry on the stream and we'll put him back up.
Nope. Okay, so I figured out something new. Oh, one second. I'm getting a lay from the uh, getting a call from the old lady, so this could be a problem. Hey, sweetie. Uh, no, currently live. It's an emergency. Let me get. Did you text? Did, did you text me a bunch of kissy faces and X's and O's? All right, I love you too. <laughs> yeah, I love you. <laughs> Classic. Did you get my text? Uh, let me guess. XO, heart face, kissy face. She's like, yeah. I was like, well, cool. She's like, oh, you're live? I was like, yeah. It's on the calendar. The calendar you make me adhere to because you have all your meetings. <laughs> and then she followed up with, have you eaten? She's a good lady. I love her. She keeps me obese. So I did figure it out. Basically, I can only recycle... Like the new the scene where I add the pictures to it a couple of times before it doesn't want to recognize it anymore. So now I know. I gotta make a new one every time. I can't just keep adding pictures to it. So anyway, like I said, I'm gonna put Scary Terry up. Cause he's near and dear to us. Well while, while I engage you guys. Tebow! What's up, bro? Now we got we got we got some more painting to do, bro. You're right, Ironhead. It's not for me. If it's not for her, it's for me. Plagiarification. I run three uh, biker on Mark character sorcerers with uh, spell familiar and a cabal, and then I run from Crimson Slaughter one with the Bell Star and a jump pack linked up with whatever unit you want them to be with. Like a Dog Star is a real good unit. And I like the Crimson Slaughter because I like, because Scary Terry here has Demon Heart. Now, you need a tank for the unit. And since you're going to get Endurance and have Funeral Pain 4 up in Eternal Warrior, having a 2 of armor save is the real way to tank for the unit. And also you can roll, because you take Bell Star on that the 4th Sorcerer, he can roll in Divination, and you might be able to pull out some extra powers there. Like Misfortune, which is huge for Dog Stars. Um, but also with the new GWFEQ, if a jump pack doesn't use his jump pack in the movement, the whole unit can reroll their charge. Since you lose fleet, the second non-fleet models join the same unit. So that's a huge buff when you're about to get into a supercharge and not fail your charge. That dr the black is still drying, guys. Excellent! Let me reorder this. Not, not working. There it is. So, as soon as the blacks dry, what I'll, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start on the drilling process. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna move uh, Gobface out of the way. We're gonna get the bike out. The, the bike's not being done painted, but I think it's time to put it in the base because it's gonna look epic. And we're going to carefully break it off the base. And now we're going to dry fit it. We're going to figure out where we want it. Basically, I feel like this is the best way to get the tire down there. Or get the, um, the treads down there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drill. And I, P3 sells an amazing pin vice pin drill bit set. Really affordable. I recommend it for anyone. Let's just double check where we want it. Roughly right here. We're going to drill a hole right in here. Some people like to use an electric drill. I do when I'm using pewter. But I've had too many disasters. The plastic models. <laughs> and 
and the cool thing about this privateer set is like it all matches like the whatever size you buy comes with the drill bit to fit the brass rod so like you don't have to like sit there and be like what size do I have you don't have to think about shit and also why while, while I'm buying all my p3 paints p3 actually makes one of the more a pretty good super glue it's pretty it's pretty robust it's a little bit different than other people's super glue I know I find. So we got that brass rod in the base. Just just, just jump to that stage and we can we can dry fit it. Not gonna glue it down though because we gotta dry we gotta finish the base still. So you got how you guys feeling about wheelie? Feeling good about a wheelie. Oof, that was gangster. Get some glue down on there, and we'll have a wheel nice wheelie bike. Okay, set that aside. getting somewhat dry not all the way there yet where's my other brush I have another GW dry brush I got I bought the set with the little one and the big one I'm trying to figure out where I put the little one here it is here's the little dry brush so what I'm gonna do actually because I want this to be dark is hunt down my black metal Got it. A little bit of... It's confusing because it just says black on it. But it's actually black steel. From Vallejo Air. It's nice and dark. I'm going to pull some out. Hit it with a quick dry brush. Excellent! Christopher! Oh, it was so long. Hold on. Chris, Tabletop Game Crew. Thanks for the follow. And Aurora Rash. Aurora Rash. Thanks for the follow. Quick dry brush like that keep it nice and dark now we're gonna grab our um, our chrome and just rapid fire into a brighter highlight just real quick so most of this is under the bike Not a big deal. Wash off our dry brush. Use a little brush soap on it. These are good brushes. I don't want to fuck them up. And now... We can decide what we want to do with those uh, in between struts. What I'm thinking is, you know, what I, you, you guys know what I'm about to say, right? The dread chopper, the the dread chopper for the bike, Rhinoceros. Thanks, man. That's a great fucking name. Someone said the ruckus a couple streams ago, and I'm wondering if this is the guy who's gonna get the ruckus. So here's some Typhus Corrosion. And there's a bunch of black and shit in there, so I'm just mixing the Typhus Corrosion in with it. It's not quite dry in there, but that's fine. Because we'll throw some rust all up in this.
and we'll we'll definitely throw some in there. Real subtle, but like I said, when it's like a when you have a model that's like a bike that covers almost the entire base, you don't have to um, you don't have to overthink it. You can see from the top, you can barely see anything, and it's gonna be glued down like like this. So basically, we'll just cover some seams in there with some rust effects. And real quick, we'll do another thing on the stream. This is one of my ancient Chinese texts right here. Vallejo Surface Primer. It's a good primer. Real strong. I use it to rim bases with. I think it's great for rimming bases. Because the, the rim of the base gets beat up the most. And this is a polymer acrylic. Very strong. So what, if you use this to rim the base, plus your seal coat, your varnish, it will be highly resistant to wear and tear on the table. Oops. Accidentally dipped my paintbrush in the metal. Hey, look. The GW paintbrush is, another, is a good... Rim painter now. We're talking Typhus Corrosion, Dry Brush. That lip curl is perfect. The uh, brush curl. Normally I'd glue the guy on before I do the rim, but I wanted to do the rim now so we can just see how nice it looks. And you can see here on the edge, we're going to have to do something there. Think a little think a little of graffiti maybe. This glove has paint on it. Boom. Bike is looking engaged. Old gob. Good old uh, gob face killer. Excellent. Mm. So baller. I died to lag. Nice. Good. Solid gamer name. Thanks for the follow, brother. Vagrant Wolf. She's the literal best of all ladies. Agreed. Wheelie pose all day. Star Sunders, you gots to get it, brother. Tebow, I use the black primer for Gundam models. Really is tough. Yep. Rhinoceros, is the base brush... Is the base brush... Is that the base? Mine curls. Yeah, no, literally it is. It curled after the first use. Ta oh, keep it icy? Oh, shit. That's the graffiti we're going to do. We have to. Gods to, bro. Mm. Slow Fuse Gaming is the man. Appreciate it, Slow Fuse. We did some work today, man. Just uh, good old gob, good old gob face killer. Just getting some love right now. We did a bunch of a bunch of work on him. Got that skin looking real orky and leathery, nice and dark. 
we got to still highlight all this red and make it pop. You know what I'm saying? Like we did all the red here on the on this on this fender on the on the fairing. We're gonna do a couple more extra edge highlights. Same thing with this guy right here. But all in all, this is kind of like the quality I'm trying to paint the orcs to. Uh, not super showcasey or anything like that, but definitely real nice. You know, we want. I want to bring this orc army. You know, it just because I want to be able to play with it, so I don't want to feel like my my models are spending a billion hours on it getting shipped up. Uh, but I want it to look fresh. I want to bring the hobby back. And orcs, the only thing that's less competitive, in my opinion, that's a salty because I gotta play. I gotta play aggressive, a salty style armies. Is orcs. The only thing worse than chaos is orcs. Slow fuse all day. Um, Shout out to all my new subscribers. You're earning yo dogs a little bit faster than everybody else. Shout out to all my new donators. You're earning yo dogs a lot more faster than everybody else. All my new follows today. I cannot do this without you guys. Literally 100% fact. Shout out to my boy Vega Wolf. He's the guy who got me into this. After Adepticon with a long talk, Kyle Saudi, he sat me down, did a three hour Skype call with me and got me into Twitch. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have a stream right now, probably. Shout out to my boy, Cat, Cat Cal, coming in so fresh, first time donator. Don't forget, you can use your Yo Dogs to get into that raffle, one on one painting session with me over the over the uh, internets or interwebs. Star Sunders, my friend playing Imperial Guard just got like ninth place at the Hammer of Wrath. Let me put it this way Pask plus like six Wyverns plus bullshit in between literally wins games, brother. Especially with the Primaris Psyker formation. You can just summon a bunch of Bloodthirsters now. Real quick, guys. We're going to raid Michal. He's the leader of the Brush Lickers United Stream Team. He's the guy who's presenting that leadership, getting this team together. Brush Lickers is an amazing resource for anybody trying to upgrade, upgrade their hobby game. Um... Real talk, we're going to rate them. We're going to do a hard. I'm going to walk you guys through it. Some people, we're new to this. So I'm going to host them. Subscribers have the ability to use their emotes in like in, in anyone's channel. The rest of everybody, we're not going to be able to use our stream commands once we get over there. So subscribers, stay with me on this. Literally go in there, open the chat box, and literally just like click emotes. Like click all, click emotes. And literally like hit them with nothing. But icy, yo dog, you know, faces and cats. Literally, just literally click, 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 chat. Click, 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 chat. Just non fucking stop. Relentless. They're going to throw their chow balls at us, but don't stop. We're going to win this raid. They're not going to be able to defend against this relentless attack that the orc wall, the wall tank clan, is about to bring. So remember, guys, stay icy. We'll be back on Saturday doing this all over again. I'll have another pre-video for you. Let's do this raid.